Here I have my prepared sample. All I'm doing is I'm going to show you how to start using a machine from the very beginning. We just have two um, quilters cotton fabrics together. I just have two different colors just so you can see the difference. And so I have my machine all threaded. And normally you would you want to use matching threads, but I have blue and purple here just so you can see the difference uh, what's on top and what's on the bottom. So I have my presser foot up, and that's this lever right here, up and down. I'm going to leave my presser foot up. I'm going to put my fabric under, and I'm going to line it up to this 5 eighths. I don't know if you can see it. So that line on the side is 5 eighths. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak my fabric down a little bit and what I want I want this needle to go into the fabric but not on the very edge it needs to be in a little bit because if I put it on the edge it's going to want to suck all that fabric in so I'm going to put it down see how I put down my presser foot and I'm going to put my needle down and I'm going to use the hand wheel and I'm going to put it all the way down so it doesn't go any further and that's where I want to start I want to start there because um, the machine just likes to have the needle down when it starts. It's get, it gets a smoother start. I'm going to hold the thread here. And I, what I do is I usually hold it all together like this. Instead of holding it up here, I'll put it here so I can control the fabric and the thread all at the same time. Now, I'm standing up to do this video just to, to <laughs> so that the lighting is right. So I'm going to gently try to start slowly and I'm going to go, I'm going to press and here's my reverse button so I know where it is, get familiar with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go forward a few stitches, see if I can do it without like, like a jerky start and I'm going to hold this button and go backwards at the same time. One, two, three, let go and now I'm going to go forward. And I'm going to go until I reach a pin, pull it out, and start going. Now, when you're starting, I would suggest stopping a couple stitches ahead of the pin and pulling it out instead of doing it all in one motion. When you start to get better and more comfortable with the sewing, you'll be able to do it all in one motion. And I'll show you what that looks like. Go slow to start because you, you need to know how to steer. See how I'm holding it down with my left hand and I'm steering with my right. And so I'm just going to slide that out. I'm still staying along this line. And right as I get to this bottom, I'm going to press my reverse. I'm going to go back a couple stitches. Then I'm going to go off the end. And I like to stop with my needle down because if I'm going to be pivoting or moving in the, you know, the line of stitching, I want it to, to stay down so I can move it. So I'm going to pull the needle up. I'm going to use the hand wheel. I'm going to pull it towards me as usual. I'm going to pull up the presser foot. That releases all the tension that holds the thread in place and it sort of loosens the uh, bobbin thread. And I'm going to cut it on. I've got a cutter back here. So here is our backstitched fabric. I could have gone back a little further. Probably would have been good, but for demonstration purposes, you don't want to start here. You're going to suck the fabric down into the machine and that is no good. So you see how it's a little bit darker there? And then, so that's go down, go back, go forward for a bit till you reach the end. Reach right here. You're going to go in reverse for a couple stitches and then go forward right off. Okay, and so this is creating a seam. And here is what we just did which is the basis of most of sewing. You want a nice straight seam.